big changes coming to Fedora Linux 37 as we're only in the beta phase for 36, but these are big deals to talk about. First thing being the deprecation of legacy BIOS. And a lot of us still run older hardware that requires legacy BIOS support. And this change in Fedora will make it so that we cannot boot in or install Fedora on some older platforms because they plan on making UEFI a hardware requirement for future Fedora installations. They say that the legacy BIOS support will not be removed, but a new non-UEFI installation is not going to be supported on those platforms. Basically, it's the first steps to removing legacy BIOS entirely. Here's a detailed description of it. It says UEFI is defined as a versioned standard that can be tested against and certified against. On the contrast, every legacy BIOS is unique. Legacy BIOS is widely considered deprecated by Intel, AMD, Microsoft, and Apple, and is on its way out. But what about our older hardware? Now, Fedora is known for being at the cutting edge of development when it comes to their Linux distribution and their updates, so it may make sense for them to be deprecating old machines. But what does this look like for future development in Linux and other distributions? Are we going to lose that legacy support for our older hardware? Because much of the world still runs on old hardware. Not everybody can go up and grab a new system every few years. And with the ever-changing tech sphere, it's really hard to keep up. Anyways, dropping legacy BIOS was discussed but not proposed in 2020, they say. Important points from the thread. Some machines are BIOS only. This change does not prevent their use yet, but they are effectively deprecated. Another point, drawing a clear year cutoff, let alone a detailed list of hardware that the change affects, it's basically impossible. They say it's unfortunate, but they're going to have to go on with it anyway. There is no migration story from legacy BIOS to UEFI. Repartitioning things basically makes you have to reinstall. Basically, they won't drop complete support of legacy BIOS, but they will in new installations. Also noted in the thread, the deprecation of hardware is going to be hard no matter what. So they call that friction. So of course, there's going to be people opposing this change. Let me know if you are in the comments section below. Also at the time, it seems like AWS did not support UEFI booting but now they do today. And that's an interesting concern that they were taking into consideration Amazon Web Services and the cloud. Not sure that there's many installations of Fedora running out there for servers. You'd want something more stable like CentOS, which is also now deprecated, but perhaps Rocky Linux instead. But this is only the first out of a second big change that they are making to Fedora 37. But before we move on to that, are you ready to start learning about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's a link below. And moving on to the second big change, legacy XORG driver removal. This will remove the XORG X11 driver for VESA and the XORG X11 driver for FBDev and the code that's supported through the XORG X11 server XORG package. So what does this do? Well, Fedora's primary desktop environments are moving away from being X11 sessions to being Wayland instead. So they're beginning to move over to the Wayland protocols and Xorg is currently still used in what they call fallback situations where drivers just aren't supported with Wayland. Their reasoning seems to be in part because the VESA and FB dev drivers or packages seem to be becoming deprecated by their words and not getting used as much so they're going to figure out what types of configurations need these drivers and try creating an alternative display support for those configurations and then finally remove those drivers completely from the support code in X server. So basically, if you're using these drivers on one of your older devices or you have compatibility issues with newer drivers and you fall back to these, well, it doesn't really look like you're going to have an option for using Fedora anymore. Yes, they do say they're trying to create other support instead of using those drivers, but that's no small task. And having fallbacks doesn't necessarily end up working, especially when so many devices depend on these drivers, it's going to be hard to find all configurations that actually use these drivers. Seems like they're being optimistic here in one edge case here for cases where the driver is set explicitly in the XOR config file, there is no obvious correction remedy that they could do automatically, the user would have to configure their X configuration manually, which is definitely going to be difficult for most that are using Fedora and require these drivers. The benefits to Fedora here is verified modern support paths for cases currently handled by VESA and FB Dev, similar support testing matrix for QE, and one less reason they need XORG installed at all 
and can move on to the Wayland protocols. For those of you with older devices that enjoy using Fedora, this is a warning that they're making it harder to install Fedora on those devices, starting with Fedora 37, if they are able to implement all these changes, start making a transitioning plan to move to something else, perhaps Arch Linux, if you wanna stay on the cutting edge of development and still wanna use those older devices. It seems that Fedora is taking a stance and not caring too much about robustness, instead just keeping up with the latest and greatest in trends. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.